Uh, welcome back to the start of the school year, and please welcome to the stage Karen Buck and Matthias Baumhoff. Thank you. 
poem is written by Christian Schubert. In a clear little book, they're dotted about in happy haste, the moody trout, dashing everywhere like an arrow. So I would ask everyone again to listen very carefully to the piano part, and maybe you can talk to me afterwards. You'll hear different things happening. Maybe there's water, maybe there's the trout the fish swimming through. I stood on the bank and watched in sweet peace the fish's bath and the clear little brook. A fisherman with his gear came to stand on the bank and watched with cold blood as the little fish weaved here and there. But as long as the water remains clear, I thought, no worry, he'll never catch the trout with his hook. But finally, for the thief, time seemed to pass too slowly. He made the little brook murky. And before I thought it could be, his line twitched. There flashed the fish. And I, with raging blood, gazed on the betrayed one. <laughs> Thank you. 
poetry from many different sources. And one of the most amazing writers of our time, of an earlier time, is William Shakespeare. Schubert wrote three songs to Shakespearean texts, and we would like to do this one. This is to Sylvia, and this is from the play um, Two Gentlemen of Verona. Who is Sylvia? What is she that all our swains commend her? Holy, fair, and wise is she. The heavens such grace did lend her, that she might admire it be. Is she kind as she is fair? For beauty lives with kindness. Love doth to her eyes repair to help him of his blindness, and being helped, inhabits there. Then to Sylvia let us sing that Sylvia is excelling. She excels each mortal thing upon the dull earth dwelling. <coughs> to her let us garlands bring. <laughs> Oh, 
classify grounds. The first one is called Vergebliches Ständchen. It's a futile serenade. You hear how the boy is speaking to the girl and he wants her to open the door and she says no and she will get in trouble with her mother and you better just go.
they asked me, who are your, who's your favorite composer? And I will say Mozart, it sort of split between Mozart and Richard Strauss. <laughs> and when I was in Europe, I had the pleasure to see so many beautiful Richard Strauss operas and be inspired by them. And he wrote many, many beautiful songs. He often had the voice of his wife in his mind when he composed his songs. And one of the songs that we were, we were doing uh, is Morgan is Tomorrow. And this was part of a four song opus of Opus 27 that was a wedding present to his <coughs> wife, Pauline de Anne, who was a singer. So I will introduce the poem that we'll do as the second song. Tomorrow. And tomorrow the sun will shine again. And on the path that I will follow, it shall again unite us, happy ones, upon this sun breathing earth. So that is a very slow, very calm, very happy song. And we will start with dedication. You know it, dear soul, that far from you I languish. Love causes a heart to ache to you, my friend.
Place on the table the fragrant mignonettes. Bring in the last red asters. And let us speak again of love, as long ago in May. Give me your hand, so that I may secretly clasp it. And if it is observed by others, I will not mind. Give me one of your sweet glances, as long ago in May. Today each grave is flowering and fragrant. Once a year is All Souls Day. Come to my heart that I again may have you as once in May. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I dreamed a dream. <gasps> <laughs> 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 